Now, a lady customer was asking me about this drawing she sent through and this picture of her house. I said I'd get back to her, but I've, I've lost her email. So I, I, I don't know how you lose an email. It's not in my inbox. Anyhow, in the description she gave me, she said it gets cold in here. She just bought this. It's, it's got cold outside. It's now cold inside this front dormer. She wants to insulate it. She's done this drawing here and she says when she's standing inside the loft here and looking through, she can actually look through. See, there's no insulation above the roof just there. Let's go back to the picture so she's standing inside there and she's looking inside and there's no insulation so she's proposing doing this she's proposing putting on soft vents to get a flow of air around and up inside and she's asking if I think that's okay well generally speaking we don't like to join the airflow of this roof to the air in this area here now if you look here this is going to be the rest of the loft all of this area is the rest of the loft and that has its own ventilation normally to get rid of its own moisture where what you're trying to do here is clear any moisture over the top of this one into this one which could make the moisture content in this one even more so normally you wouldn't do that normally you would try and vent this one at this location and vent this one completely separately because you're not going to mix them but when you start coming down to look at what's going on on the front of this that is going to be really really awkward this space isn't particularly that much when you actually start looking at what's going on so you know, personally, I would talk to my design team, which is normally me, um, because no one else wants to get involved. You can't get a straight answer from anybody and you try and work it out. Personally, I don't see that I, there would be a problem there. Personally, I wouldn't do this. Personally, I would turn this into a warm roof. Problem with turning this into a warm roof, what she's going to find is that she's got the cost of a new roof. I mean, turning it into a warm roof, warm roof she could certainly put more insulation on there uh, over the top, but that's going to make it more bigger. It's going to make it more bulkier doing it all from the outside and it's going to cost more because she needs a new roof so at the moment I should assume the thinking is that she can do this from the inside and it is going to be cheaper well let's just go through this and have a look how this is going to work so she's got 120 millimeter of insulation pushed up in between all the joists I remember reading that on her on her email here and here she's got fiberglass and if that's 120 that's got to be 200 millimeters of fiberglass here underneath it 50 millimeters of uh, insulated plasterboard right away across. Well, what she hasn't put down here is, is the air vapor control layer. So let's just take this into consideration. If you're gonna do this properly, you're gonna be putting in a proper air vapor control layer, which means I'll show you a picture here. This is a green air vapor control layer and this is me doing it in my test rig and this is really expensive to do properly and this is not the standard green uh, air vapor control layer this is a um, if you look how thick this is you've got to be careful which ones you use this one is a high quality one so coming back to this drawing that air vapor layer should go across here and you've got all the expense of all the different tapes and everything else which goes with the system to be able to do it properly and you can't put spotlights in from down below so if you don't put that up will it work well probably it will work but you know, no one likes probably so you're going to be better off and probably cheaper because if you think about it at the moment she's having to put plasterboard underneath this and uh, um, insulated plasterboard underneath it dropping the ceiling down slightly she's got the cost of all this going on inside why don't you just put a warm roof over the top of this area here and if you did put a, top, a warm roof over the top of this area here you then close it down at this point here so that no i mean if you did if you did put this over the top of it you now haven't got any insulation in this part you do not vent it here you bring your insulation on top of your wall right up here look at my video tucking in uh, your roof so you bring you extend the thermal insulation of the wall up here no ventilation at all at that part but what you need to do is shut this area here off so that any movement of air in here of course what you're going to need to do is put low ventilation in the pitched roof to come back over here so you're going to need I mean there's obviously I don't know what's going on I can't see underneath here I'm assuming there's ventilation underneath here but you need to put more ventilation up here as well so that you've got a good movement of um, air up here but you haven't got any airflow from up here coming back down to this area which is now hollow Theoretically, think of it like this, that you do not have to have a ceiling in this area here and you still wouldn't get any drafts from coming in. You'd get no drafts coming in from that area and you'd get no drafts coming in from that area. Hopefully that helps and sorry I couldn't uh, email you this back, but hopefully you'll see it on YouTube. Uh, if you need any more help, please get back to me. Speak soon.